Welcome! Patchy is a free online tool that makes it much easier to create large images with DALI 2. Using Outpainting, you can combine multiple images created by DALI 2 into one continuous mural and make it as large as you'd like. To get started, first create your initial image in DALI 2. That will be the starting point to build out from. Once you've generated your image, download it to your machine. Then open Patchy in a browser at patch-e.com. This area on the right is where you'll be building your image. You can pan the view with your mouse or zoom in and out with the plus and minus keys, the scroll wheel, or the zoom buttons. When you mouse over the center area, you'll see that a green glowing square appears. This is the empty slot where you'll put your first image. Click on the green square and select Upload Initial Image from the menu. Choose the image you downloaded from DALI. That initial image appears in the center slot, and now there are eight new empty slots expanding out in all directions from that image. These are slots where you place new images to expand your creation. To expand your image so that it appears continuous with what you already have, you'll need to give DALI some context to build from. To do this, click on one of the empty slots and select Download Partial Image from the menu. Now go back into DALI, select Upload, and upload the partial image you just downloaded. Hit Done, and then Edit Image. As you see, the partial image has part of the initial image to give DALI context, as well as a transparent area. It's this transparent area that DALI will fill in to expand the image. Even though there's already a transparent area, DALI won't let us generate until we've used their Erase tool. This is just a quirk of DALI. So erase a bit of the area that is already transparent. Now enter your prompt. It can be the same as the prompt for your initial image, or you can change it to introduce new elements. The prompt should describe what the whole image being generated should look like, not just what to fill in the transparent area with. Now hit Generate and check out what DALI comes up with. If none of them are quite right, you can change your prompt and generate again. Once you're happy with one of DALI's completions, download it. Back in Patchy, click on that empty slot and select Upload Completion Image. Choose the image you just generated. Patchy puts it in the right place and creates new empty slots around it. You can continue expanding this way for as long as you'd like. You can expand in any direction, growing from the center out or across from one side. You can expand equally in all directions so that the finished creation is a large square, or more in one direction than the other to make it a tall or a wide image. For each step, you download a partial image from Patchy, upload it into DALI, erase a bit of the transparent area, Tweak your prompt if you'd like and have DALI generate the completion image. Then you download it and back in Patchy you upload the completion image. I recommend completing the side images before completing the corner images that they connect to. That'll give DALI more context to work with when it completes the corners. Note that Patchy stores all your images locally on your machine. They are never uploaded to any server. This keeps it private and fast. Also, Patchy saves your progress, so if you close your tab or restart your computer, just go back to patchy.com and your work in progress will be just how you left it. Once you're happy with your creation, you can download the finished image by going to Patchy's menu and selecting Download Image. Patchy also has the ability to make images that seamlessly tile. This can be useful for making textures, skyboxes, VR backgrounds, and so forth. If you'd like to do that, first expand your image as far as you want to. Then, from Patchy's menu, select Add Vertically Seamless Row, if you'd like the image to tile vertically, or Add Horizontally Seamless Column, if you'd like it to tile horizontally. You can also add both. Once you've added these options, you are given new slots to fill in. 
you'll be using DALI to fill in the gap between one side of the image and the other. Just like when you were expanding the image, start by downloading a partial image. Upload it into DALI, tweak your prompt, and generate the completion. Then upload that completion back into its slot in Patchy. Once you've completed all of the slots, you're ready to download the finished image. Only the image area within the blue outline will be downloaded. The edges outside that outline are just for the partial images to give DALI context to work with. The finished image you download should be able to tile seamlessly. Another area to note are the options available in Patchy's menu. We've already seen the first three in action. Clear Project clears the workspace so you can start working on a new image. Settings has a few useful options. Overlap X and Y tell Patchy how much overlap there should be between adjacent images, both horizontally and vertically. The greater the overlap, the more context DALI has to work with when completing images, but the smaller the overlap, the more new image is created with each completion, and so the faster you can expand your creation. Seamless overlap X and Y do the same thing, but for the partial images that connect the two sides to make a seamless image. These images have some overlap on both sides, so the width of each overlap is smaller by default. Feel free to play with all these to find the balance between continuity and speed of expansion that you prefer. The saturation cap is sometimes useful for helping prevent image quality from degrading as you expand outward. Often, with each successive image that's completed, expanding further out from the original image, Dolly 2 will tend to increase the saturation of the colors that it uses. This can cause the style of these images to drift and the quality to decrease as we get further out. There's no perfect solution for this, but setting the saturation cap lower than 1, say at 0.7 or 0.8, will prevent partial images from including any fully saturated colors, and so will help prevent Dolly 2 from amping up the saturation in the completions that it generates. Everything we've looked at so far was done in composition mode. That's this top button here. This is the mode where you put together your composition. You download partial images and upload the completion images made by Dolly 2 to form your full image. There are a couple of other modes in Patchy that you can switch to using these buttons. First let's look at erasing. Click this eraser button to enter erase mode. Now you can erase any parts of the images on your canvas. Use this slider to set the size of your eraser. Erasing in Patchy makes that part of the image transparent so that Dolly can then complete that area. You can do your erasing right in Dolly itself, but it's often more convenient to do it in Patchy, especially if the area you're erasing crosses the border between two images. You can also select the Paintbrush button if you want to restore areas that you previously erased. Now let's look at Background Mode. To enter Background Mode, click on this second button here. In background mode, you can place images anywhere you want on your canvas. I'll show you how to do this, then talk about some ways it can be handy. To add an image in the background, make sure you're in background mode, then click where you want to add the image and select Add a Background Image. Choose the image to add, and it appears on your canvas. Now you can move the image around with your mouse. You can grab a corner of the image and scale it. You can grab an edge and crop it. If you click on the image, you'll see the options to remove it, or to flip it horizontally or vertically. You can add as many images in the background as you'd like, and place them wherever you'd like. Background images make uncropping very easy. Just bring in a background image, scale it and position it however you'd like, and crop out any areas you don't want to include. You can also use the eraser for finer control over what you remove. Then download your partial image, Upload it into Dolly 2 and generate your completions. Another use of background images is to place specific elements just where you want them. I'll often use them to seed a certain style throughout a larger image to prevent Dolly from drifting too far from that style as I expand outward. I'll start with one image in the style I want, generate a few continuations of it, then place those continuations at different locations, cropping out the side that duplicates what was in the original image. Then when I expand out and complete the whole image, Dali has parts of that original style to go by throughout the larger image. 
Apache now supports drag and drop, so you can drag images from your file explorer or your desktop right into the slot in Apache where you want to place them. This can be a time saver. It also works in background mode for loading in background images. That's it. I hope you enjoy using Apache, and I'd love to see your creations. The Apache Discord has a gallery, and OpenAI's own Discord has a channel devoted to composite images. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you'd like more DALI 2 and Apache videos. Thanks for watching.